So we got a Mercedes which is rigged up and um, it's available in the uh, stuff for wheel sections made available by DMI people. Thank you again. And um, as you can see it's uh, driving, it's rotating its wheels, it does some tilting and rolling and drifting and that kind of stuff. And, but it's pretty common that if you have a car you also want to be able to move it along a spline. So let me show you what you need to do to alter this one and make it follow the path and make it steer and so on. So a couple of things you need to do. First thing, you need to unhide the rigging layer. That's one. So you get all these dummies and this steering rig. So that's step one. Step two is you make the main rig a little bit smaller, something like this. Why do we do this? We do this so it will now get a smoother movement along the path. If this one is smaller, it moves smoother along the path, so that's why we do this. And then we're ready to start uh, attaching all stuff and wiring it up. So here we go. Um, main rig, animation constraint, path constraint, connect it to the path. Go to your settings, make sure it follows the path and it is aligned in a proper way. So we need to do Y and flip. And we need to do the same thing for this one, the steering rig, we need to connect it to the path as well. So animation, constraint, path, click, here we go. Uh, make sure it follows the path, that's it. We don't need to worry about the orientation, that doesn't matter. Next step, you need to lose the keyframes which have been made for the steering rig. So lose them, so that's it. And then if we make sure that this one is at a certain distance, fixed distance of the main rig, so these two, then your car will start following the line and starts rotating its wheels or steering its wheels again. So that's what we want to achieve. So how do we do that? We do that by wiring these two together. So here we go. Wire, transform, position, path, percentage, towards this one, position, path, percentage. Now let me make a little bit room so you can see it. So if I now connect it, of course this one jumps into place because now it says percent is percent, so that's the same, so we all have to start at the beginning of the line. And that's not what we want, so we need to change this, so we say percent is percent plus a little bit, let's say 0 0.1 and update. And now this one jumps to 0.1 percent plus of the line and it will stay there all the time. So that's basically what's happening now, but the distance is too far because it's much more than it was in the original model. So let's do 0 0.5, update it. Yep, looks good to me. You can kind of check it because it's a little bit fiddling around because it's depending on the uh, length of the uh, spline of course. Um, if this one is kind of the same distance as it used to be, these should be pointing straight, so the wheels are pointing straight up front. And that's the case in this setup now. So if I now scrub the timeline, you will see the car following the line, nicely steering, the steer rig is following the line as well. There's one thing which we are now missing is the rotation of the wheels. The wheels don't have lost their rotation. All the other stuff is still there. So the, uh, let's say, tilting, you go, the tilting is still there, the rolling is still there, and the drifting is still there. So that's not a problem, it's just the rotation of the wheels. So how do we do that? We go back to the initial position, and we make sure that this one, so the main rig, make sure that these rotate. So that's basically it, so we have to wire them again. So if this one moves, that one has to rotate, that's basically it. So how do we do that? Following. This one has to be rotated, let me check, if I do local, it has to be rotated around the X, so here we go, wire, transform, position, path, percent, now make sure that you select the dummy, transform, rotation, X, connect it, so if you now move this one, nothing's happening because it now again it says percent is percent so that doesn't make sense so we have to change it again so percent is percent times 100 for instance so update 
move. Now you can see it start moving. There it is, the rotation. So that's a little bit slow, so let's change it to 150 for instance, update it again. And if it now moves, yep, there it is. It works fine now. Okay, so that's that part. And um, next thing is we do a copy of this one. So we say copy, and we start connecting the other dummies and main rig together. So same procedure, wire parameters, transform, position, path, percent, go there, select the dummy which controls the driving, rotation, X, copy and paste, what we just figured out, connect it, check if it runs, yep, it runs. Now let's go to the other side and do it again, but now for this wheel, the front wheel, so close this one, wire, transform, position, path, percent, Connect it to that one, transform, rotation, X. Copy and paste, control, connect, check. Yep, works as well. Alright, final one. Close this one, we don't need it anymore. So, wire, transform, path, percent. Go to the dummy, transform, rotation, X. Copy and paste. set because now all the wheels are moving as you can see and if we move it along the path you can see it rotating and you can see steering and everything is fine and everything is working perfectly now so that's basically how you do it so that's how you go from the original rig we made available towards this one which is now following the path so make sure you unhide your rigging layer change the size of the uh, main rig uh, connect this one and this one with a path constraint make sure these two so the main rig and the steering rig are wired together at a certain distance so the distance is fixed and then make sure that you introduce the rotating of the wheels again by wiring the main rig towards the dummies of the wheels and that's it you should be all fine so hope this helps and uh, have fun cheers <laughs>